All right, you guys, let's talk a little bit about the stage. How do you set up your stage considerations, right? So when you take a stage, you're with a performer, you're with a speaker, you're with somebody who um, is going to be up there doing their thing and you've got to protect them. What are the considerations? Uh, starting off with the understanding that stage left, right, in front of the house, back of the house, it's all as the speaker sees it, right? So stage left is your speaker or performance performer's left. Stage right is your speaker or performer's right front of the house, right in front of the stage, back of the house, so obviously the back of the house where people come in. Where do you wanna take someone off platform if they're gonna be a stage diver or someone who's gonna to try to get on that platform, right? Considerations, you wanna look at the exit that'll get them back to the crowd the quickest and safest. You need to know where that is so if you catch someone on the platform, you know exactly where you're taking them, you know exactly who you're handing them off to. Medical emergency, do you have EMTs next to the stage? Do you have um, a stage plan for medical emergencies? Uh, do you have a C-spine? Do you have a place where you can roll someone, lay them down, secure them, get them off platform without moving them too much if there's an injury on the stage, right? How far away is medical? And how far would you have to travel in the event that you did have to travel? Because not all venues are as supported as you would like, um, depending on where you are in the world and a number of different uh, factors, right? How many layers are between you and the crowd? What do they have to do to get to the platform, to get to the stage? Right? There's certain ways you can set up your plot, your stage so that they have to cross serious barriers in order to get up there, which can give you another added layer uh, of protection. Routes to the green room, routes to the platform. From the time they hit the drop, from the time they hit the drop, and they are making it from the drop to the green room, which is the first location they usually go to, how can you secure that route, secure that area? How can you work with the house to make sure that's locked down? Once they go to the platform, uh, the route from the green room to the platform. How can you secure that area? Maybe you can't keep it secure, but when they're coming off the platform, you can push somebody to move through, secure it, sweep the green room. Is your green room gonna be secured while that person's on platform? Or is your green room gotta be secured when you go to and fro? Vehicles, who holds onto the keys? You know, you wanna make sure that the person who's gonna be with that principal, with that client is holding onto the keys. Not the entourage, not the client. You wanna make sure you guys have control, your body man has those keys, right? Um, if you're gonna leave keys inside vehicles, are those vehicles in a secure location? All of these types of considerations, I just wanted to give you a few in this quick training day field note. There's so, so, so much more. But I wanna encourage you to get EP Essentials. There's a lot of tips like this in EP Essentials. Um, and come train with us at epspecialist.com. So just a few considerations. I'll probably make a few more of these for working on and near the stage. Byron Rogers, protected by nature and by trade. Let's take your executive protection career to the next level. 